In today's project spotlight, I'm going to be talking about the shooting stars window hanging. What I made, how I made it, and what I learned. Welcome to Eva Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So today I'm going to be talking about this window hanging piece that I made and it is called the Shooting Stars Window Hanging. And this piece actually started out as a bit of an experiment because I had a lot of people asking me if they could make the stained glass pajagi style window hangings with jelly rolls or two and a half inch strips of fabric. And when I first thought about it, I thought, no, jelly rolls are going to be too narrow because this pajagi seam allowances take up a lot more fabric than a regular quarter inch seam. And it's the seam that gives it that dark stained glass effect. So like when it's hanging in a window, you can see all the seams. And so I thought that the pieces would be too narrow. But then I realized instead of just assuming there would be too narrow, I should actually try a piece. So I tried this uh, sample piece just to see how it would look. And as you can see, it turned out fine. Two and a half inch strips work great for this. And so uh, the way I made this was I took my jelly roll that I had and then I separated my pieces into um, dark, light and medium. And then I cut my pieces at different lengths and then I put them together. And so I called it shooting stars because it kind of looks like there's a bit of movement in these panels. And then in between the panels, I did add some wider strips of like neutral yardage um, just to break it up a little bit. And so I like the effect that that gives. And so this piece turned out really nicely. It really worked out well. Uh, it's a great way to use pre-cuts from a jelly roll or you could just use scraps left over from a piece because lots of times you have scraps that are two and a half inches wide. And so I like this piece so much that I ended up turning it into a pattern that has this piece and it has another really large piece and it has another smaller piece that is a really quick and easy project. Now after trying this I know that I wouldn't want to go very much smaller than two and a half inches. Two inches is probably be fine but once you get below two inches you're using up so much of your fabric in the seams that there's not much that would be left in between. So I wouldn't want to do a whole piece with that. However, I haven't yet done an experiment to see exactly how small I would be happy going with that. So I will have to put that away um, on my list for another experiment to try to see how small my pieces could be that it would still look nice in the window and not be just a whole piece of black lines. So if you have any questions about this project, I would love to hear it. If you want to see uh, more information, you can click the link below that will take you to the post about it. For more information about this project and this technique, you can find that at my website, evadestudio.com.